Hello, it's How To Not To and in today's video I will be unboxing this uh, Yama monitor which arrived today in the post. I will also be unboxing other IT equipment later on in the video so please stay tuned for that. But first let's start with unboxing the monitor which is the ProLite B2483HSU model and is a 24 inch screen. I hope it will fit on my new office desk which I will also reveal at the end of the video. It's a flicker free with full HD and it also can rotate as shown in the picture. If you want to know why I have cling film on my wrist all is explained in the video that will be linked at the end of this video. Okay what else do we have? Yes we have a box in front of us which I'm going to open now. Yeah, the reason I got a monitor is because I'm currently working from home and I also bought other IT equipment um, to help me work from home uh, more effectively and I will be setting all this up in my new office as I explained earlier. But first let's get this out of the box. So first out of the box is this uh, USB cable to connect to your laptop and this is the... We got the manual and this is the HDMI cable. Let's remove this and down here we have what looks like the monitor stand. Yes it is. And on the reverse that's where you affix it to the monitor. Yeah finally we have the monitor so just get rid of the box. Actually, there is still something left in the box, which is, yeah, just the power lead. Not going to get far without that, so... Okay, let's unravel the monitor. Uh, that's the stand there, which just swivels in place like that. On the back of the monitor, we have uh, six ports to connect um, a DP cable. That's a display port cable. It has a port for HDMI and it also has a VGA, which can be connected to my TV if I wanted to, or to my desktop computer. Uh, further along, it has three USB ports and on the other side it has the power lead goes in there and it also has headphone jack and um, a speaker jack as well to your left okay that's all good the name of the monitor is yama which i've never heard of before i've never heard of that particular brand before but um, it was a the only monitor available at a reasonable cost on Amazon at the time of lockdown. So, um, and it was also going to be delivered quickly. So that's why I went for this particular model. And also it's reasonably priced as well. It only cost around £130, which is quite good for a 24 inch monitor, I thought anyway. It weighs about 5.2 kilograms. As you can see there, it's nice and slim. The actual dimensions are 38.6 by 23 by 56.5 centimeters. And along the front of the monitor is where you can turn the volume up or down and adjust the brightness of the screen and turn it on as well. You can turn it on and off just by pushing the buttons underneath. Okay, I'm going to attach the base to the stand, which is quite easy to do. All you have to do is remove this bolt here first and place the base to the stand and affix the base to the stand like so. The monitor can be tilted forward and back and it also rotates 180 degrees. So you can work either landscape or portrait mode. So I'm now going to open up the rest of my IT equipment that I got. So here we have the keyboard and mice. It's a Microsoft Wired 600 keyboard by USB. It's for everyday use, but it's a quite large keyboard. Uh, I'm not sure it's going to fit on the desk. So, um, I mean, the dimensions are 45.6 by 16 by 4.3 um, centimetres. Is that centimetres? Yes, I think it is. 
It's compatible with Windows and Mac. The keyboard is even spill resistant, so that's always good to know. It's, it only costs £15, so very cheap monitor and mice is included with that price as well. Yeah, quite a good price, isn't it? You can control the videos and music with the MIDI keys. It has a numeric key pad on the right side as well for easy access. And there you have um, a wired standard mouse. So I'm going to try and connect them to the monitor later on in the video. Okay, I also have another cable to connect to my Service Pro as the other cable um, that I used didn't work. Uh, I believe this is the correct one to use for Surface Pros. I also have a USB 3 notebook hub which has four connection ports so if you don't have enough ports on your computer this will come in handy as it gives me the option to use my keyboard and mouse if I want to. Um, so that's great, I have everything I need to work from home and um, yeah. So I'm now going to reveal my new office that's been set up for me. So this is my new office that I'm currently working from. It's nice, isn't it? There was some dead space under the stairs and it was um, an ideal space to create this lovely office. I really do like it. I think most of the items was bought from Amazon, so I will leave, leave links below of all the items in today's video. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Okay, I'm now going to set everything up, so I'm going to connect the power cord first and then the Surface Pro cable. I did get um, different kinds of cables, one for my Surface Pro and another for my um, laptop. Um, so yeah, it just gave me the flexibility to use different kinds of uh, PCs with my monitor. Um, okay, I'm now going to connect the USB hub. This allows me to connect, obviously, the keyboard and the mouse that I mentioned earlier. So let's switch it on. So let's switch it on, and the first thing you're met with is the logo, the Yammer logo. You can adjust the screen by pressing the buttons underneath here. You can turn the volume up or down and adjust the brightness, contrast, and um, a whole load of other settings you can choose from. It's a bit too bright for me at the moment, so I'm just going to lower that a bit, lower the brightness. It's also got a world symbol. This is the language button. So yeah, there's um, a lot of options on the actual monitor to set the monitor as you prefer. The monitor can also be tilted forward and back and can be raised or lowered, so that's good as well. And on the, my Surface Pro, I'm going into the settings to position the monitors, how I like it, to allow me to move my mice between both. Okay, that's it. Everything is all set up and ready to go. Um, yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like and leave any comments down below. Uh, tell me what you think of my new office. Um, do you like it? Uh, or don't you like it? Is it a bit too fancy or a bit yeah tell me what you think of my new office do you like it don't forget to click on the notification bell uh, as well um, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel okay i'm now going to connect the hdmi cable to my laptop and i'm now going to test gaming and i'll leave you with another roblox game for you to enjoy Thanks for watching. Bye for now.